what it is vibes yeah it's your girl drum roll please amia the artist how y'all doing today it's nice to see y'all i'm glad y'all done pulled up and popped out at my little youtube party i have to get ready to do my makeup or whatever i got somewhere to go so i just hope that y'all stick around for this whole video this wig that i got on is a synthetic wig i paid like 20 dollars for this wig so that was cool whatever so i went to sleep in this shirt so i got like a little mm, i ate in this shirt and everything bear with me i'm gonna get cute y'all gonna be able to turn up with me and vibe with me okay so just stick around I'm about to set everything up and then i'm gonna come back when we're gonna do makeup right? ain't no money problems we good at the dope want my goodies buy me land cause that designer i've been I'm back and right now I'm about to be doing my eyebrows first. They be sisters for sure. They might not be twins because everybody everything ain't perfect. I'm gonna take my little brush and I'm just going to be brushing out, trying to give myself a little like faded view. So I kind of like to be keeping that vibe when I do my eyebrows. I'm going to be going in with my concealer. Every product that I use, guys, is from the drugstore. So this right here is going to be e.l.f. And it's the 16 hour camo concealer. Start by raising my eyebrow. When I raise my eyebrow, I feel like it's easier for me to go with the arch of the eyebrow when I raise it. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And I really like this concealer because it comes with this little brush. So I seem to always lose my little concealer brush, but with this, I don't have to even worry about it gonna go in with my flat head brush i really don't know if this brush is good for this but i'm gonna use it for this anyway just use it to mix what's it called and i'll just make sure that i smooth it in between the eyebrows as well you don't want to have a unibrow you don't want to hear me just gonna thicken this one up over here. You can always go bigger, but you can't go smaller. So be correct about how you do it. I'm gonna go back in with my flat hat brush that I just used and fade that concealer right there to make it all blend in. So I don't have two harsh lines, and there are my eyebrows. I love them. Sexy. Guys, I'm going to immediately go ahead and go in with my foundation. I am using the matte poreless 340 cappuccino color with Maybelline. And I like this foundation. The only thing I don't like is the fact that I have the matte con because they do make dewy. And for whatever reason, I could only find the matte con in my color. But I'm going to make it dewy when I get done. So everything will be fine. Notice I don't really use a lot of foundation just because she, you know, you don't need that much. And I'm just going to do a little bit. I really don't have to do any to my forehead because it won't be out. But I can do a little bit. And then... I'm going to go back in with my e.l.f. concealer. I am going to begin to highlight my face. I always feel like I want to be super duper highlighted, but I really don't be needing to be. I'm going to do my nose and just my cheeks and my chin and a little bit underneath my nose. And that's only because you're not going to be able to see my forehead today. So now I'm going to take my concealer and this is in the color and the concealer that i'm using is in the color deep chestnut sorry guys yeah. uh. Uh. Okay, i say contouring is like my favorite thing to do just because it just makes you look sexy when you're contouring and you popping 
and everybody sees you. Like everybody sees your features. That's why I contour. I don't care about what nobody else does. I'm gonna take this little brush, this little like raised edge brush. I'm just gonna go in, and I'm actually gonna turn it like this. You guys see? I'm gonna turn it like this against my face and give it a good brush. I want you to be able to see the sculpting that I went through. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a little bit more because I really want to be deeply concealed today. How long I've been waiting for this smoke, my cushion go. He got presents for me, red bottoms, Louis Vuitton and Mo. Gifts from Santa, ain't no money problems. We good at the dope. Want my good. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna get my chin in my neck area. So now I'm going to go in And this is my setting spray Once again guys I get all my stuff from the drugstore CVS okay Maybelline glass spray This stuff is popping I'm going to spray this on my face And I always need to spray a lot I really don't care Now I'm about to go in with my beauty blender And I'm going to blend this is probably my favorite part because this is where you begin to see your makeup coming together and you begin to see how you're gonna look. I'm gonna take this very small brush. I don't know what to call it, but it has like a little tip on it. And I use it for my nose contour. And I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna begin to like somewhat paint that. I am painting this makeup on my face. This type of stuff is artistry. You guys have to be able to figure out how to ride your hair. Be one with your hands so that you can create and refine yourself and focus so that you can only use it. Somebody else can show you and do it. So yeah, I go in with this little brush and I just give it a little dab. I really like strong contouring on my nose. I kind of got a little fat nose. <laughs> I kind of got a little fat nose. I only get hundreds for my time. Keep up with him through the phone line. Go on a day just to spend time. And then I'm gonna just go all the way over and make it all come together. As you guys can see, the fade is beautiful and it's slight. You feel me? I feel like my nose looks super big right now because I'm like pinpointing. Either way it goes. The fade is beautiful, like I said, and it's slight. Now I'm going to be taking my air spun powder, which I also got from the drugstore. Okay? Everything you get from the drugstore or Walmart. I'm gonna take my air spun. And I am going to be baking myself. So yeah, this is what we're looking like right now. This would be the time where I would normally be putting on my eyelashes because I wouldn't have any on. So some sales guy kept on knocking on my door. I don't know what that was about and it really kind of freaked me out because I'm not normally used to having company. So yeah, but he just wouldn't go away, but he eventually went away. So he didn't get to ruin too much in my video. So when somebody come knock on my door, baby, I don't answer. If I don't know you coming, baby, I'm not answering, okay? <laughs> I don't know what they're gonna do, what? Okay, but anyways, guys, so this would be the time where I would normally be putting on my eyelashes, but because I already have some on, I'm just gonna go ahead and go in and do the eye makeup that I normally would do, which would be some under eye liner, which I really, really love. And I also believe I got this. Yes, this is Maybelline, okay? So I got this from the CVS too, okay, guys? So I'm just going to go in. I'm going to line my eyes. This is my favorite thing to do. I love under eye makeup. It's so, like, sensual. 
okay? Like, I feel like I just added the youth into my eyes. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just popped them. You see what I'm talking about, guys? Let me make a video for y'all. Yes, that's so, like, hi, my name is... I feel like it adds sensualness to myself, so I just do it every time. I'm gonna do this eye. So that is cute, guys. That is my favorite. I freaking love under eye makeup. Like, it's so, 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 so beautiful. And this is my palette, guys. I got this palette from Didi's Discount, okay? I shop at Didi's. I'm not afraid to say that. I love shopping at Didi's. So, yeah. I'm about to go in with this palette. I'm thinking today, I don't know what I'm going to put on. But I wore pink eyeshadow yesterday, so I don't want anybody to think I didn't wash my makeup off. So I'm just going to go in with orange. We'll just do orange today. That's super hot. The little eyeshadow ladies. When you look like turn your guy on i feel like i feel like guys love to see a female at her highest potential of pretty so stay pretty ladies i had to learn that i had to learn that the hard way i learned along the way though guys like to see a classy looking woman they see so many guys but when they see a woman they want to see her at her highest potential of pretty so like a dress you know guys love a good dress they don't matter where you're going or anything if they can see those legs honey if they can see those legs they're on to you. They are on to you. But that's it with the palette. Um, I think I only paid about ten dollars for this palette. So if you guys live close to the DDs, go get that. Um, and so right now I am going to be brushing off my powder, and I'll be taking this brush right here, and I'm going to brush off my powder. Take a little spit, clean off my little diamond, make sure my baby's still shining. Forgive me for the people who don't like that. And then I'm going to go in with my lip routine. I'm going to take that same brush that I did my eyeliner with, and I'm just going to go around my lips. And I like to do that with this color because when I use a brown pencil or something, it doesn't last long. This kind of lasts a little long. Even though I already have lip gloss on, it's gonna like be a leather. So I really like that. And I love doing that to my lips because they're just so little. So I have to like make them pop, you know? I gotta make them look sexy, so. This is L'Oreal Paris, um, and it is in the shade 975 Lilac. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and put it on my bottom lip. And I'm gonna do like that. And then guys, I'm gonna spray my face with my Maybelline Glass Spray one more time because once again, I did tell y'all, I like to be dewy, not matte, and right now I'm kinda matte. I'm gonna take that and spray that and I'm gonna go back in with my brush. I'm just gonna dab. Make sure that whatever water drops, whatever came out of the spray bottle too thick gets padded away. And yeah. So now I'm going to fix my hair. 
Okay guys, so in these couple of clips you guys are watching me cut and style my hair. Um, I am going to go off camera and completely style out my hair, but I was just cutting the hair to the length that I wanted it to be before I styled it. I'm not all the way comfortable with styling my hair on camera yet. This is my first video, so guys just cut me some slack, okay? Keep watching. final product i decided to do a half up half down um and blow dry the top of my hair like i said earlier this week is synthetic so i can only blow dry not necessarily flat iron so i just blow dry it straight so it laid down a little bit better made myself look like i got some bangs and yeah i think i'm done so yeah guys this is the look i really really like this look <laughs> This is the final look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this YouTube video. And I hope that you guys come back and watch more of my YouTube videos on my channel. Thank you guys for tuning in with me. Stay tuned for the next video because there will be more.